Hi stars, welcome to the new video. Uh, today I have a practical video that is useful for the students of this channel. Uh, so stay with me. If I connect this battery to this motor, yeah, you can see that the motor starts working. Yeah, if I turn it off, the motor will also stop. But I'm looking for that like three phase motors. When I push a switch, the motor uh, stays on and stops with another switch. This is what we used to do in the control circuit workshop when we were a student. This is an example of a stop and start circuit. When we press the start switch, the relay turns on and the motor starts. In addition, the parallel switch is connected with the start switch. Therefore, by disconnecting the start switch, the motor doesn't turn off. But to turn off the engine, we have to press the stop switch so that the relay power is cut off and the whole circuit is turned off. I know it was a bit boring, besides no one uses this technology nowadays. For many reasons, including being noisy. What everyone uses today is PLC which has different types and it's made by different companies. There are industrial PLCs that are great for large factories and can be programmed by computer. There are also mini PLCs that are special for small workshops that can be programmed by both by a computer and by switches and a screen on it. So in this video I will make a mini PLC. I like it because it doesn't need software and its program can be changed easily. It will be a difficult task to make it. Until I write the program, click the like button on this video. Thank you. After many efforts, the project was finally ready. Let me explain how it works. When you turn on the device, it will display four lines with the number zero in front of it, which means there is no program inside the PLC. Each line consists of three parts. In the first part, you can determine the desired logical operation and input pins. These operations include the gates of OR and buffer not but puts and timers which timers do not work at the moment in the second section you can enter the result of the first section in another operation that you specify in the third section in the third section you only have access to inputs and outputs and two boolean variables And in the last section, you can only determine which output the result of the operation should be placed in. Try the stop start program. This program must be inserted into the PLC. Let's write it together. I use an LED for the output instead of the motor and these two are the inputs. See the result. 